So you are upgrading to an aftermarket radio or maybe you're installing new speakers or even doing a full system upgrade. It is critical that you connect to the right wires in your vehicle so you need to know what all the different wire colors mean. What is the power wire and the ground and all of the different speaker wires, positive and negative? You need to know all of this so let's jump on in and get started. Now bear with me here because I'm sure that a lot of you that clicked this video were expecting just an easy list of wires to connect to in order to install an aftermarket radio in your vehicle. But here's the thing, I want to explain an important detail to you about today's latest vehicles. So with vehicles from 20 plus years ago, installing an aftermarket radio or even installing aftermarket speakers was super easy because a lot of times they used the same wire colors. Especially when it comes to installing an aftermarket radio, there was typically the same set of wires there. You had power, ground, you had a turn on or an ignition wire, and then you had had the eight different speaker wires four speakers, positive and negative for each. But with today's latest vehicles and everything being controlled over a data signal, a lot of times you're not gonna find all of those wires and you certainly aren't going to find them in the wire colors that you expect. But not all hope is lost and that's because companies make devices like this that allow us to interface with the factory system and our aftermarket radio. Let me explain this. So basically when you go to install an aftermarket radio, you're going to take out the factory radio, you're going to unplug it from the factory harness, and with a device like this, we're now going to plug into the OEM plugs, and we now have this device that's going to properly interpret all of the signals coming from the vehicle, and it's going to give us our typical wires that we're used to in order to connect to with our aftermarket radio. So these wires here are going to be our typical wire colors that we can expect. It's going to vary a little bit depending on the manufacturer of this device. So these are what I'm gonna go through with you on this video. But now, if you're new to car audio, you're probably wondering, how do I know what wiring harness to get? And how do I know what integration part I need? And how do you know the speaker wire colors? Well, this is the perfect segue to one of our channel sponsors here at Car Audio Fabrication, and that is Crutchfield. On the Crutchfield website, you can enter the year, make, and model of your vehicle, and if they've done the research, you can see the exact integration parts that you're going to need in order to install an aftermarket head unit. Do note, though, that on some of these latest vehicles, the radio is so integrated as part of the vehicle's electrical system that you can't always replace it. But another big benefit that Crutchfield offers is what they call the master sheet. This document allows you to see exactly how to take apart different panels of the vehicle in order to replace things like speakers, but also oftentimes they will include a wire splicing guide which will give you the wire colors and the identification of each of those wires that you likely need to connect into. Even better, Crutchfield also has their ready harness service where for a small fee, they will prep the harness for you. If you guys wanna learn more about Crutchfield and take advantage of a special offer for car audio fabrication fans, check out the link here on screen or down in the video description. So with an aftermarket radio integration device, connecting the wires that come with the radio on that wire harness to this harness is pretty easy because for the most part, you're gonna be connecting the same color to the same color, but you do always want to verify by reading the manual for for your integration device and for your radio. So the colors we're gonna be talking about here for the most part are always the same. First off, we have yellow. This is a 12 volt positive constant lead, which means you're always going to have 12 volts positive voltage on this wire, even when the radio is off. Next up is solid red, and this is your 12 volt positive ignition wire. What that means is when the radio is supposed to be on, in other words, usually when the vehicle is on, you're going to have positive voltage on this wire. Next up is black, which is your ground wire, your negative wire. This is going to be connected to the chassis ground of the vehicle. Now orange, or oftentimes orange white, depending on the wiring harness, this is your illumination wire. This allows your radio to know the illumination settings of the rest of the dash so that it can properly dim or adjust its brightness. A brown wire is oftentimes a phone mute control, and blue or blue-white is the antenna remote wire. Oftentimes, you're gonna be using this as a turn-on lead to turn on aftermarket amplifiers. So the radio or the interface device kinda of controls this wire in a way, and it's only going to give you that 12-volt switched positive turn-on lead when the radio is on, telling your amplifiers to turn on. From here, we have all of the different speaker wires, and these are obviously always going to be a pair, and usually 
usually the solid colored wire is your positive connection and the wire with a stripe on it is your negative connection. White is our front left, gray is our front right, green is our rear left, and purple or violet is our rear right. Now you may see other wire colors on the harness. A popular one here is this light green. In this case, this would connect to the parking brake. That way the aftermarket radio manufacturer can know when the vehicle is not in motion and allow you to watch movies on the device or access other features. You may end up seeing other wire colors. Those are the most popular ones for the other wire colors and even the ones that are popular, it's always best again to check the manual. So my friends, don't forget with today's latest vehicles, you're likely going to need a radio interface device. And if you guys want to determine exactly what you need for your car audio system, be sure to check out show sponsor Crutchfield. You can take advantage of a special offer for car audio fabrication fans at the link here on screen or down in the video description. A big thanks to them along with Mike, Jerry, Mo, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible. And I thank you for tuning in and watching.